fiber art and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you our hand carters. Um, we've had these made for us by the same woodworker that makes the Zoli tools and so they are each handmade. They're beautiful um, cherry and walnut and they're finished with tongue oil. Um, they are the actual wooden part is about um, four by nine and then the 70 TPI carding cloth is um, the area is about three by eight inches so they're a nice size to um, blend either a small amount or a decent amount of fiber. So as we've gotten into um, more needle felting and wet felting and spitting there are times when you either want to tease something out or um, just blend a few colors together particularly in the needle felting and the wet felting um, as I'm working on a piece I may need you know three colors blended together and the hand carters are a great way to blend that small amount on the spot as opposed to um, something like a drum carter and they're also a lot more affordable than the drum carter so you buy them um, in a pair and I'm still learning how to do this it's it takes a little bit of practice, but I just want to go over, um, show you how, how they're used and a few of the different ways that they're used. So one way would be to blend some colors together. So um, Marsha, who works here, has been having fun with the drum carter, and she's been blending together our, um, these packs of top coat that we have, and just to see how they look all put together. So for example, this is the berry pack of four colors, and then once the four colors are blended together, it makes this really beautiful, dynamic um, mix of colors, which if you were wet felting a landscape, um, you know, would be really fun to incorporate. So that's what these are, is some things that have been um, mixed different four about four different colors mixed together you can use it with the merino um, you can use it with a combination the this carding cloth is not too fine so it's just a great sort of all-purpose carding cloth that works well with a large variety of fibers so I'm just gonna demonstrate how you could blend some colors together okay so if I were sitting I might rest this on my the top of my leg um, it's a little bit curved and you can kind of set it down on your leg while you um, work your fiber into it so the more um, blended that I put these on the, the faster they're gonna blend together it just depends on how um, you know how much you want them blended so I'm just gonna layer some colors you can't put too much. I'd say that's probably the, the biggest mistake I was making when I was starting was I was putting too much fiber on. So just let it grab and then once it stops grabbing you know you've got enough. So at first you're going to use them with the handles pointing in the opposite direction and the other mistake that I was making was I was trying to drag the the um, combs across each other but you don't you just take the top edge of the one and grab the very bottom edge from the other and it'll start to move the fiber over when you've done that and you can't get any more fiber then you scoot it up a little bit further but instead of just pulling them across each other, it's a little bit of a rocking motion, a little bit of like kind of like a scoop. And then you work your way up from this edge to this edge and you've got, now the fiber is on the other carter. So to get it back, I'm gonna flip this one over and do the same thing from this way. I'm just kind of scooping it off. And now it's mostly over here. So to get it off, then you take it, I'm just going to get the rest of that off of this one. You take them 
with the handles in the same direction and you just pull it pull it off and you've got your little your little bit of blended blended wool now if you get really good at it there's like you can once it's on there you can like roll it into a little roll lag but usually I'm blending it to use it fluffy like this um, in a wet felting project so to clean it you go you go in the same the same direction to pull it off like that and then sometimes you might want to tease out some locks I'm usually using locks you know locky like this but let's say you like the color and you don't need all that texture or um, or you're going to be spinning and you want to tease them out a little bit you can you can get the locks going into the carter into one side and then use the other carter the same way to pull these locks into fluff. So there are a lot of people out there who are a lot better at this than I am, but it is my duty to show you what I have learned so far. So now you've got some fluff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how it's done and you can just have a lot of fun playing with all your colors. So if you think um, that you could use these, um, and I'm sure you will once you have them, they are on our website, serafinafiberart.com, in the tools section. And um, these are um, just well-made sort of heirloom type pieces. So I hope you enjoy them. Thank you.